this is Becca from Becca Harkins Art and welcome to my art channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reverse flower dip and as you can tell by the color of my canvas this is not my first attempt. My first attempt I decided to thin my paints down really really thin to how Olga teaches to thin her paints down in her course because I wanted to see how it would react. And as you can see here, my first attempt did not turn out anything like what I was envisioning. So I decided to scrape off my canvas and try again. I just scraped all of the paint into a cup and I can use that for a base for another painting. And then I took a clean paper towel and wiped off the excess paint. You don't always need to wipe off the canvas as much as I did, but because I was going to be letting it sit overnight as I let the paint thicken, I decided to wipe it clean. Well, as clean as I could get it. I let the paint sit out overnight, hoping that they would thicken up. I checked them the next day and they still were not thicken up. So I went ahead and remixed all my colors and I mixed them thicker this time. As you might suspect, all of the colors that I'm using in today's painting are custom colors. Well, everything except for titanium white. The base is mostly Amsterdam greenish blue, but it also has some phthalo blue and a fair amount of black mixed into it. I wanted a really nice navy blue color, and I liked the navy blue with the greenish blue and the black mixed together, but I thought it needed to be a little bit more purple, so I added a little bit of phthalo blue in there, and I really like the result that I got here. This is the flower tool, the same one that I used in the last painting, and you can see that the paint has kind of caught in the crevices and dyed it, but it still works really well. If you would like to get this tool, I will put a link in the description for where I purchased this on Etsy. I don't have any kind of affiliate with it or anything, but if you want to get one for yourself and try this out, you can get one at the link, or I'm sure there are others on Etsy as well. As you can see, I mix this paint a little bit thicker, than I usually do. I was holding it up close there to the camera because I was hoping that you could see that when the paint drips off the stick and onto the other paint, there's just a little bit of a trace that gets left. You can see it a little bit better in the other colors. This one is Amsterdam Pearl White mixed with just a few drops of my base color. Isn't that a beautiful frosty color? And it really did turn out nice in the final results. I if I'm being honest, it was a complete accident. I accidentally dripped a couple of drops of the base color as I was mixing the other paints in there, and I was like, what the heck, maybe we'll just go with it. Maybe it was meant to be. And I really do like how it turned out. So I'm happy for happy accidents. This is a turquoise color that I mixed with some phthalo blue, and you can see there that the paint pretty much dissolves right into the base paint, but it just leaves a tiny bit of a trace as it falls in there. I just love this side angle. Watching it flow over and like those petals growing out like that is very satisfying, <laughs> don't you think? If you've seen my last video, then you kind of know where this one's going. So I'll stop talking for a while, turn on some nice background music so you can enjoy the process. But please promise me that you'll stay till the end because you will not be disappointed by the end result. It is so cool. I am so in love with this technique and this process. I can't wait to do my next one. Every time I do a new reverse flower pour, I just get so excited for the possibilities and the colors that I want to do next.
This is for sure one of those paintings that is just as beautiful from a distance as it is when you get up close and look at the details. I mean, look at those cells. We've got gradients from white and then picking up some of that pearl white mixed with the base for that really light frosty blue color fading into the turquoise that then fades into the deep blue color. I love it. I am so excited with how this turned out. Look at all the little bubbles and the specks. It is just fantastic. I am just so excited about this painting and I cannot wait to try it with some more colors. So make sure you stop back for the next video and you will not be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, all the things, and I will see you for the next one.